Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf and welcome to another sneaky upload. Just a little sneaky one in addition to my regular uploads that always go live on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 8pm London time. If you are new here, hi, my name is Gemma, I am a qualified aesthetician but I don't practice anymore in a clinic or a salon because my full-time job is YouTube. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of an at-home facial because I have had a day of it and it's only lunchtime. I filmed a video this morning that went wrong. Disastrous, really bad, it wasn't expected. I got really upset, threw my dummy out and um, here we are. So I thought I would make myself feel better by one, talking to all of you, which always works, and two, giving myself a little pamper session. So I thought I'd film it. Why not? So many of you have asked me to show you the application method for the Ordinary's AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. And that's the first thing I'm gonna do today. I do have a clean skin. I have double cleansed. If you are doing this first thing in the morning, really there is no need to double cleanse, but I had a full face of makeup on. And when I say full face, I mean a full face of makeup on that needed to be melted and chiseled off my face. So I now have a completely clean face and um, now is the time I am going to be applying the Ordinary's AHA plus BHA peeling solution. I love this. If you have seen my skincare routine, I absolutely adore this product. It's fantastic. If you haven't tried it already, I highly, highly recommend it. I will link everything in the description box below. I am a Tretinoin user, however, so this does say that you can leave it on for up to 10 minutes. Do not leave this on for over 10 minutes. Real error. You, Your skin will not thank you for it the day or two days later on down the line. 10 minutes maximum, but because I use Tretinoin, I'm actually only going to put this on for three minutes. So there is a full scoop of the product, a full dropper full rather, not a scoop. And I'm just gonna press this on my skin. A lot of people call this the blood peel because it does look pretty um, violent on the face. So I am missing out the eye area completely. Just going to smooth that around. Now this is tingling on my face already, which is why you have to be careful. If you don't get any tingling, that's absolutely fine. But if you do get tingling, that is your skin telling you to not leave this on for very long. Be very, very careful and listen to your skin. So once that's on and it's distributed evenly, as you can see, it's all over my face. I haven't taken this down the neck, I never do. I'm gonna leave this on for three minutes and then wash it off completely. So I left it on for the full three minutes. I have completely rinsed my skin with lukewarm water, nothing too hot, nothing too cold. And you can feel immediately how smooth your skin is. I have patted my skin dry with a towel. No rubbing, no more exfoliation needed, just patting it dry really, really gently and Oh, my skin just feels absolutely amazing. There are no dead skin cells left on the surface of my skin and my pores have had a deep clean out. So once I've done that and my skin feels as smooth as a baby's bottom, I want to apply some really nourishing ingredients to my skin and give my skin a real treat. To do that, I'm going to apply another mask. Now this mask does not have any other exfoliating capabilities in there because we don't want to over exfoliate the skin. This is simply for real nutrition and moisturization. It's a real, real treat for the skin. This is the Cos RX Ultimate Moisturizing Honey Overnight Mask. I'm not gonna keep this on overnight. I may reapply this later on this evening, depending on how my skin feels. Now this does look like honey. It's, it's very thick and sticky in consistency. Actually, it's not that sticky. It's very gel-like, but it's a very thick gel. So 
I'm going to start by distributing that into the areas of my face so I can get an even layer. This feels very, very cooling on the skin. Very, very cooling. Oh, it feels lovely. Feels really, really nice. I have a couple of honey masks. Both of them are amazing. This one is one of my faves because you can sleep in this one as well. So once that is evenly distributed all over the skin and my skin feels immediately cooled and soothed, I'm gonna pop a little bit of the Makeup Obsession So Balm Lip Balm. This is such a great product. They do this in lots of different flavors as well as one that I think is unflavored. I'm gonna take a generous amount of that and pop that all over my lips. So my lips are also getting a treatment as well as the skin on my face. Now, this is touch dry already. It's really quite a pleasant feel. It doesn't feel overly thick or overly heavy on the face. Definitely has a slight tacky feeling on the surface, but it is not unpleasant in the slightest. You can leave this on for as long as you want to. If you have eight hours where you're going to be doing some jobs around the house, then leave it on for the full eight hours. I'm actually only gonna leave this on for around about an hour, an hour and a half, and then I'm going to do the rest of my steps. But on a normal day, if I did this first thing in the morning, I would be putting this on and I would be leaving it on all day and washing it off before bed, or putting this on before bed, and washing it off in the morning. I just feel like my skin needs a little bit of a pamper today, so an hour and a half will have to do because that is the time that I have. So I will see you all in an hour and a half. So I had the honey mask on for a little bit longer than I thought. I lost track of time completely and it's actually been on my skin for two and a half hours, not the one and a half hours that I originally thought I would have time for. Anyway, I have washed it off now using some Luke warm water, nothing too hot, nothing too cold, just like the AHA plus BHA peeling solution. Never too hot, never too cold, just kind on the skin. And it's now completely dry after just patting it down with a towel. I am now going to apply some serums, so, um, once again, I am going to be using the Nyard Fractionated Eye Contour Concentrate. This is an amazing serum, really, really love it. Feels really nice underneath my eyes and I can definitely see a visible difference to the lines underneath my eyes and even more so on my eyelids. So I'm just gonna pat that in place. It's also really cooling. Once that's sank in, I'm gonna make my usual cocktail of niacinamide, one, two, three, and matrixel, one, two, three. Mush that up in my hands and then press that onto my skin and also apply that down the neck. I would also usually apply it on my chest area as well, but that is covered up at the moment and I don't wanna get my top covered in serum. So I'm not gonna do that at this moment. Just make sure that is evenly distributed without tugging on your skin and then let that settle. Once that has completely sank into the skin, I'm going to lock all that goodness in place with a really emollient cream. This is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. It is super thick, super, super nourishing, and I'm really gonna whack that on my skin today. I'm gonna apply a little bit more than I usually would. This is quite a heavy cream for the daytime, but um, I'm not going out, obviously and doing anything, so um, I really want to boost my skin and really give it the nourishment that it needs. If you want a lighter cream, if you don't like the feeling that a heavy cream gives you, 
then the CeraVe Moisturising Lotion is the one to go for. Once again, I will link everything in the description box, but that is my mini at-home facial completed. My skin feels amazing. It feels really nourished, really hydrated, super smooth. And I just feel like I've had a little bit of me time and my skin is healthier for it. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Just taking a little bit of time out of your day to give your skin that pamper that it deserves. And um, nobody needs to know that you have a face mask on. You can walk around with this all day, even outside, go to the supermarket with this on because nobody will notice it is completely clear mask and it doesn't give you that patchiness on the skin. It just looks a little bit shinier on the skin than your skin would normally look. So um, I would happily go out of the house with this on my face and the end result is that my skin feels absolutely amazing. Do let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. Are you gonna trial this out? I will link all the products in the description box. They are affiliate links, which means that if you do click on them and decide to purchase anything, then I will get a small amount of commission, which I can then reinvest into my channel. Thank you very much for everybody who's already done that, but there is no pressure on this end. You buy your products from wherever you want to. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.